Okay. So, all right. So, am I starting? Great. So I'm John Kelsey. I'm from NIST. Um, I didn't actually make these slides, so I hope there are no big surprises here. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to talk about some announcements from NIST. So the first big thing you may have heard about it is that we have a, we have a post quantum um, cryptography standardization project. We are in a superposition of too early and too late. We will find out later how how when we take the measurement how how it works out. Um, and so there are like a hundred days left um, for the submission. Um, this is roughly the timetable. Um, and if you send it by September 30th, we'll look it over and say if you've missed something. Um, these are submissions for the post quantum. Um, really, I can't really tell you a whole lot. This is not primarily my project, but you can go to the website and you can learn a lot. And there also are several people here, like Ray Perlner, who can tell you a great deal about this. Any so, submissions so far? Huh? Any submissions so far? I think there's been one. Two. Two. I think there's been more than one. <laughs> OK, next thing, we've been working on a lightweight crypto project. Um, so the idea here is to have a portfolio of lightweight crypto algorithms that are intended for limited use. We're kind of trying to nail down exactly how we will restrict these things so they don't wind up being the thing that everybody uses for TLS. Um, so we've got these draft profiles. And you can see, and we've, we've asked for more. We've asked for the community to propose profiles. These are the two that we're looking at right now, AAD and hashing for constrained environments. Um, so if you're interested, there is a website. Yeah, there's, there's a website so you can see, you, know, you can see the page where, where this project is going on. Um, and there's also the report on lightweight crypto and there's a draft white paper on, on profiles. So if you're interested in this stuff, you know, what's the, the saying? If you like this stuff, this is the sort of stuff you'll like. So here you go. So, um, this thing, and this is kind of, this ties in with Jean-Jacques' comment before, right, about triple des and being, having been around for so long. So we're kind of trying to drive a stake in the heart of, of des now and say that des is, we're going to try to get rid of it as much as we can. This could be hard because there's stuff out in the field that's really hard to swap out like bank machines. But we are trying to deprecate the use of triple des, um, limit it, limit the, you know, limit the amount of data that can be used um, and start, start down a timeline where we will eventually make it go away. Now, that's really, really optimistic that it will ever go away. There will be like nanocomputers, you know, running, orbiting in Mars that are still using triple des and, and doing their payroll pro programs in COBOL, right? But this is, <laughs> this is what we've got. So, so there's some stuff here. You can find the, the publication on the website once again. Uh, and also if you have comments, which probably are like, oh my god, you're going to destroy all my ATMs or something. Um, send them here to this, this address, and we will, we will read them. And maybe we should like, go get some drinks before we start reading, because it'll probably be sad. But um, We have these other documents, 856A and 56C. Um, we, these are all documents that we, we are looking for comments on. Here's the, you know, the comments and the deadlines um, for, you know, this is, this is for um, key derivation and also key derivation functions and stuff. So please look at these and give us comments. And the last thing I want to talk about is the NIST beacon. This is kind of fun. So this is, the idea of a beacon is really, is, is, goes back like 30, 40 years, I think. Um, so it's basically a source of random numbers. Every random number is time stamped and digitally signed. They're all hash chained together. So you know, even we can't change the past. So it's like, like a blockchain, but without the consensus stuff. It's just a consensus of one. So we've developed a new API, a new um, protocol for the beacon, a new format. The API supports um, combining beacons. It has a pre-commitment field so that you can combine beacon pulses, OK? Um, the University of Chile and IBM are planning to, um, to implement their own beacons. So the goal is that there will be at least three sources of beacons running with this protocol. So if you want to do, you know, there are a lot of applications for beacons for these signed random numbers where you don't really have a big security issue and it's not a lot of money or anything and you can just use one. If you feel like you can't trust just a single beacon, you can use this, pro you, you can use this format and do a simple protocol and combine like beacons from three different sources. And this becomes a lot more secure. So um, that's, the, that's the big picture. Let's see if I've, that's it. So I think I'm done, thank you.